just being ghosted slash like stood up. Why did you ghost me? Benefits of dating one person at a time versus multiple people in early stages of dating. Help! You need help! <laughs> Why does it get better? You my medicine. I'm so tired! Oh, no. I'm so tired! That's enough! I feel like, as a female, if y'all not exclusive, you can date other people. Oh, really? I got you on video right here. Cheat it? No! 18 years of marriage is gone. So much time wasted on one person. Imagine giving it your all to someone you believe in, just to be disappointed in the end. These women have hit the wall. Regretting their actions is the only thing they can do. This is just the consequences for destroying their marriages. So when my husband found out that I had been cheating, I really honestly felt like he wouldn't care um he didn't care about trying to save our marriage previously beforehand and so i honestly thought that we would just split and there'd be no hard feelings and we would co-parent with our daughter and everything would be good <laughs> and that's not quite the way it worked out this blows my mind why are there people sharing their awful behavior and then expect some kind of understanding. Actually, you thought that the grass was greener on the other side. How do you know he didn't care about trying to save your marriage? Maybe he is just not a good communicator. You say you're a good mom? A good mom would have made a better example for her daughter than having an affair and breaking up a family. Zero accountability. Did you communicate your feelings? Did you even try? You just went and opened your legs and said to yourself that he wouldn't care. This woman fails to realize that she destroyed her marriage. Not only did she assume the husband wouldn't care, she also didn't think about how her actions would hurt her daughter. And because of her actions, she ended up ruining her family, simply because she wanted to sleep around. Benefits of dating one person at a time versus multiple people in early stages of dating. I think if you can, you should date multiple people. Nasty. In the early stages of dating. Why? Because I've had so many women come to me, like they meet a guy today. They'll email me later today. Gina, I met somebody. Take me out of your database. And I'm like, really? Yes, met this guy. And then a week later, they're like, it didn't work out. Well, of course not. I mean, you can't put your eggs in, in, in one basket so soon, especially for women, because we get so excited when he's cute and we like him. Just stop. This has got to be a joke. The only people I know that engage themselves in such an activity is a person without morals. Dating multiple is unhealthy and it causes confusion. It is not something you want to recommend to people, especially women. Women tends to catch feelings quicker than a guy. What if she likes multiple guys at the same time and just playing with them? Well, I mean it's happening now already to some people. Be careful. If you're nice guy, you need to watch this. With you. I have girlfriends in marriages right now who have settled with the nice, safe, secure guy we weren't all that attracted to. We didn't really want that much. We didn't have any chemistry with. We had meh sex with because we had to. Because the guy we actually felt passion and chemistry for doesn't want us or makes us so emotionally unhinged and erratic that we can't look ourselves in the mirror anymore. Normally, those guys that we settle for don't make it happen to us it's like well damn if you're putting up with it <laughs> okay cool if you're still here cool when you want to go that's fine but in the meantime i got no one else you're here to give it cool i accept but my god i see how pathetic you are and i will definitely use that to my advantage we'd leave you in a heartbeat if someone better came along for settling with you i it's true because the one they want doesn't want them to the simps saving these women, it starts with your desperation. I feel sorry for the man that is looking for a woman to love him. The sad part is, the guys you want don't want y'all because they can see how you dog other men that really cared and wanted you. And this is why more and more men are opting out of the whole relationship thing. As you've just heard, 
Some of these women will appreciate the Chads and Tyrones, but will not appreciate you, because you're just too nice of a guy. Before getting into a serious relationship with anyone, you need to make sure that's what you really want to do, because you could be taken for a ride. <laughs> Why does it get better? I'm so tired! <laughs> I'm so fucking tired! <laughs> These are women who have been choosing to mess with the chads instead of the nice guys. They've reached a point in their lives where they can't find someone seriously to date anymore. But you can just imagine how many hearts they have broken. She mentioned she keeps falling for boys that does not deserve her, but she keeps going back to them. Why not go for the nice guy? You will see what I mean soon. Are you packing my shit? Yeah. Why? Because I busted you cheating on me. You with me? To go? Come on, I got you. Watch my, watch me where I'm stepping. Yep. <laughs> Wait. All right, watch out. Watch out. Watch where? Hang on. <laughs> okay. Oh I know it's kind of silly. On. All right, step up. All right. Okay. Come on in. <laughs> Come on in. Okay. All right. Hold my hand. Take my hand. Cover your eyes. My eyes are covered. All right. Come on. Come Well, no peeking. I'm not peeking. Okay. Come on. Harley, you just calm down. <clears throat> okay, a little bit further. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, you can look now. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bianca. Happy birthday to you. Hey, babe. Are you packing my shit? Yeah. Why? Because I busted you cheating on me. <laughs> Just found out I was being cheated on last Friday. Four years down the tubes. But it's okay. I'll use this as motivation. Joke is on him. She takes the house and alimony in the divorce while she continues in the new relationship. Her ex here has to fund it all. Dude, you're free. Infidelity is one way biblically that you can divorce. Congratulations, brother. Time to take the trash out. Run, buddy. It's a blessing. Run, don't look back. This woman was so loyal. She received the best gifts of her life. This is the kind of reward you give to a woman who has been faithful to you. No, I'm just joking, guys. She got what she deserved in the best way possible on her birthday. Most men actually wouldn't have the courage to do what that man did because they're afraid of walking away. Choose yourself first in these circumstances. I feel like, as a female, if y'all not exclusive, you can date other people. Like, girl, don't be me. I'll be putting all my eggs in one basket too early. Like, I don't know why I can't date multiple people, but baby, I'm about to start. Okay? Because y'all don't be acting right and I'll be leaving the wrong niggas alone. You know what I'm saying? Date them all, sis. You ain't gonna know what you like until you start dating them all. And that's where I fucked up. That's where I fucked up. Now look at me. Went from two Valentines to zero Valentines this year. What the fuck? How do you expect to be exclusive with a man if you are messing with different people? How can you start building up feelings for him if you are seeing 20 different guys on the side? It's literally impossible to get to that stage with him. She's setting these women up for failure. Um, I've just been ghosted slash like stood up on these. <laughs> it's funny. 
sad. But um, here was my picture. So, if you are a male, please leave me alone in 2022. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm just going to go and get drunk somewhere else. I guess women can't handle rejection. Men get ghosted all the time, but you don't see them get in front of the camera and starts crying about it. Maybe she should try dating different types of guys. Maybe try picking better men that you know are interested in you for real. I don't know. I just feel like every woman needs to have a point in her life where she's just single. Like, I decided to just be single. I'm 21. And I decided to just be single and, like, just enjoy being single. Like, enjoy being in my 20s, single, doing whatever the I want. And just being happy, like... I'm not about to let no man be stressing me at 9 o'clock in the morning. No. No. Translation. She wants to experience what it's like to be with multiple dudes. If her goal is to get married, then she should be looking for a potential husband while she's still young. If only she knew how hard it is for women today who want to settle down at 35. I got you on video right here. Cheat it. No. Look at this shit, bro. Straight up caught you cheating on me, bro. Look at this shit. Chill. What do you mean? You, I caught you cheating on me. Hey. Chill, what? What do you got to say? What do you got to say? What do you got to say? You've been cheating on me this whole time. Holy, Holy fuck, what? Bro, I got this whole thing on video. I cannot wait to show this to everybody. Her mouth wasn't full, so I'm not sure why she couldn't speak. This man has been hurt, but he will get back up again. Sometimes you need to fall, crawl to rise up again. This experience will serve as a valuable motivator for him to work on improving himself. I find it so hilarious when guys are like, I just want a traditional woman. Okay, you know, traditionally, there was no sex before marriage, right? Traditionally, she would be getting assets before you get ass. Well, of course. But obviously, the times have changed. Things aren't the same as it were back then. Women aren't the same as they were back then. And men are just adapting to the game. Subscribe.